thanks all for coming. This is our ninth <laughs> birthday. So without you guys, we wouldn't have had it. So some of the most important people here today are the run directors. So if I can get all the run directors that are here to come up with me, please. I'd just like to you know, name these people personally. So we've got Stuart, Grant, Claire, Cassandra, Ross, Chris, and Jack. Uh, and also, Aretha, please come on up. Woo! Aretha's the one who uh, does most of the work these days, so it's absolutely awesome. <laughs> the other important people are the volunteers. Like, over the last nine years, we've had, um, I think it's about 700 volunteers. So, please, thank you to them. Is this... And as I said originally, it's you people who turn up. If you didn't turn up, we wouldn't have to turn up either on a Saturday morning and be semi-organised. So thank you for coming along. This is our 320th event. So hopefully we'll have more to continue. We do have a small cake. And some mandarins at the end. So one thing we uh, do do every year is actually nominate one person as Park Runner of the Year. So this year, the person that we've um, come up with is one of these people that turns up volunteers quite regularly. Uh, and a lot of times, this person will go out, they'll do their run, and they'll get back here before most of you, and then they'll be scanning your barcodes for you. So that is always an option. So this year's Runner of the Year, and our latest, well, will be next week, Run Director, Jack Roach. Yeah. Now, Parkrun have some silly rules, as we noticed. One of the rules is we're allowed to do this, but we're not allowed to actually have a certificate that says Parkrunner of the Year or the logo. So we've made up a dodgy one. <laughs> and we may have made up a second one as well. So thanks to Jack. Jack will be our run director next week. Uh, what we also normally do is we have a, um, a charity that we try to partner with once a year on our birthday. So this year, we're actually got running for premature babies. So Elizabeth's going to come up and have a bit of a word. So there's lots of charities around Australia that support premature babies and their families. Uh, Running for Premature Babies is the one we've chosen this year to support. Uh, there's one in 10 babies around Australia that are born prematurely, uh, which is over 47,000 premature or sick babies every year that spend their time in NICUs or special care nurseries. Uh, there's lots and lots of expensive equipment that's needed to help keep these babies uh, breathing and digesting their food as well as other things. And so Running for Premature Babies was established in 2007 and since then more than six million dollars has been raised uh, to help with life-saving neonatal equipment and research. Um, every year Running for Premature Babies conducts the Premi Baby Marathon Challenge in November, which I did last year. Um, and more than 9,000 babies have benefited so far from the funds raised by this charity. So we've got a QR code up here, it's the barcode scanning when you finish or on the post and we'll also put a link up on the page if you want to donate even a very small amount today that would be very much appreciated thank you i'm chris i'm the park run director for the day so once again happy ninth birthday to champside a white call for us to join today if they want to put their hands up or stay anonymous. <laughs> General shout out to the volunteers. So can we please all give a round of applause to our volunteers today? 